What's up fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing the New Yorkville battery powered EXM Pro Sub. Now just to remind you guys, if you guys are new here and like this content, please subscribe and like this video down below. It helps me a lot so I can make more videos for you guys. So since my last video on the mobile sub, you guys have been asking if there's anything in the works for something bigger, battery powered and a punchier for larger events. You know, Yorkville, I actually listened to you guys and this is their answer. The EXM Pro Sub. Yeah, yeah. Man, I took this thing out on a test drive on the weekend at a few events and let me tell you this thing boss. <gasps> it is a reflex design which has vent ports on all corners of the speaker so that just means it extends the bass a lot more and it just makes the sound more boomy it has two 10 inch woofers with two inch voice coils so once again this is a battery powered sub and it lasts for up to five and a half hours of runtime at maximum volumes. Now, of course, it'll last a lot longer if you're playing at light duty applications and it takes around two to three hours to fully charge. So the price of this sub, just at the time of its release, is just a little bit over $2,000 Canadian. So that comes out to 1500 US. Uh, you guys can figure out the conversion rates in your country. As far as output, it boasts of 800 watts peak and 500 watts program for SPL now it boasts of uh, 128 decibels of peak and 122 continuous now just like the other battery powered speakers in the EXM line this also has Bluetooth you can pair it with another EXM Pro Sub or you can actually pair it with the EXM Mobile 8 which is actually supposed to be paired with but you can also pair it with other different types of speakers of different brands as well. Now this speaker is weighing in at 67 pounds or 30 and a half kilograms. Now by all means it's not very light but it's not too heavy either. It's like in between but for the value you get and the, the oomph Man, it's well worth it. With quality comes weight. Now there are two different orientations that you can set up this in. Right now is one of them and it has four rubber feet on the bottom and you can also have it on its side and it also has four rubber feet on it so it doesn't touch the floor and get scratched up. And then of course on the sides, it has handles so you can pick it up nicely. Now also just to let you guys know that in both orientations, there are holes for poles to go into in both of them on the side and at the top so you can mount uh, speakers in them as well. Now if you're needing more specs, I'm going to put some specs right on the screen right now so you can take a look at it and you can pause it anytime in this video. So let's take a quick look at the back and see what we're working with in terms of inputs and controls. Let's go. Okay guys, so here is the back of the sub now. On your far left, we have the aux in where you can basically plug in and hardwire your devices into and you can play it from there. It's a 1 8 inch plug. Um, on top, alternatively, you can pair it to your wireless devices as well if they do have Bluetooth. Um, right beside it is the left and right main inputs. So uh, these are combi jacks as well, so XLR and quarter inch. Right beside it is the sub level, which is pretty much the volume. Right beside it is high pass outputs, which is left and right. Next to it is full range mono outs. So uh, if you wanna go just mono. Right below that, we have the battery indicator to see how much battery you have left. Basically, fully charged is green and red is charging. Right beside that, on the bottom right, we have the power button. I like it that it's depressed into the actual speaker, so you can't really hit anything and hit by accident too, right? At the bottom here, of course, we have the IEC plug that you can plug into, and that's basically it. Yeah, that's basically the speaker. All right, guys, so we're doing a school dance right now. I brought the EXM 
GoPro sub. As you can see, it's battery powered, not plugged in. I charged it fully last night, so it's fully charged and it's ready to go. Sounds crispy right now. Still have the sticker on it, so brand spanking new. done at the school event man it was tiring <laughs> but you know what i'm really impressed with this it is definitely a step up from the mobile sub and i had to turn it down a little bit it was too much right i could have just got away with the two tops honestly but the sub just made it just made it it was more it just had more oomph okay so my experience with this sub i'll tell you right now it's it's very impressive we all live for the base and this is it right here. The reflex design just extends that base. Now you can't beat the convenience. You can take it literally anywhere and that's the beauty of battery powered, right? You can DJ with this on a beach, in a park if they'll let you. Anywhere, literally. You don't have to worry about power for a long time too, for the duration of your event. Now, amazing that it is, I do have a few cons about it. With the reflex design, it's amazing that it's very boomy and uh, you can hear it from a pretty fair distance. But the thing is, it's not as tight of a bass. You can't really hear the note. It's like it just goes boom, boom. No, you can't really define the actual note. It just kind of just booms and shakes. I guess that's what Yorkville is known for. A lot of their bigger speakers are very boomy as well. And a lot of people and DJs, musicians like that. Some people will like to hear the actual note or the musicality of it. You know what I mean? So another thing that I noticed when you pair this with a wireless device through Bluetooth, the output is a lot lower. The volume is a lot lower than when you hardwire it straight in through your device. Right, so it doesn't really make a difference, I guess, for a normal person. And maybe this goes for all Bluetooth devices. Um, but for a DJ or a musician, they want that extra oomph. So just keep that in mind. Another thing that's obvious for the EXM line, that all the batteries are not replaceable. You gotta take it into Yorkville to replace it or else you void the warranty and stuff like that. I know this is a deal breaker for a lot of people but it is what it is now with all that being said do i recommend this sub yeah i do yeah! it's amazing it is a step up from the mobile sub this is definitely the bigger brother of the mobile sub and uh, the output is amazing it rumbles it's recommended to have two of course two tops two bottoms uh better to have more power than not enough but you can get away with one for larger medium sized events. Now I do recommend you guys to listen to it yourself in person. It's hard to listen over the camera and make a judgment call on how it's really gonna sound. So go to your local music store, Guitar Center, Long McQuaid, wherever you're at in the world and have a listen for it yourself. Don't take my word for it. So if you guys like this review you like this video and you like this sub now give me a big like down below and make sure to subscribe if you're new here now yorkville is doing some amazing things and uh, i'm gonna be doing a lot of videos on them so look out for those let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about the sub any concerns i'll try my best to answer every single one of them Okay guys, a lot more videos coming your way. We'll see you in the next one, all right? This is DJ9 signing off.